If I asked you if you were allowed to be playful at work, most people would say no. Okay. If I ask you where are you when you get your best ideas, I hear shower, walking, running, jogging, uh, laughing, falling asleep, waking up. I never hear the words at work. Well, that's an issue. Um, if I ask you what happens after the last verbal argument you were in and you, you're so stressed and you walk away from the argument, you're really angry at Fred and about two seconds later the killer one-liner pops in, oh wait, I wish I'd delivered that, but you didn't. Why? Because your brain in an argument is the same as it is in the office, it's very busy. And we hear ourselves say, I don't have time to think. The number one barrier to innovation, but the moment you gave yourself time to think, you stepped into the shower, you walked away from the argument, you came up with that killer one-liner or a big idea. And by being playful, you can access 87% of your brain, which is subconscious, that we don't use most of the day. And simply by being playful at the right time, not every minute of every day, you metaphorically open that door between your conscious and subconscious brain, where you can still make sharp and informed decisions, but you can come up with your big ideas just as you did in the shower. In the next decade, it'll be the most disruptive of our lives. Artificial intelligence scheduled to be thousands of times more intelligent than the human race by 2030. Moving from being a product-centric, we build it, they will come to a consumer-centric uh, uh, culture. That's hard enough for most brands because they remember the good old days of we build it, they will come. And then, so everybody's watching AI, they're watching blockchain, they're watching 3D printing, and they should, but they're not really watching Generation Z. Generation Z, a generation who I think will disrupt more the culture and how we do business than any technology in the next 10 years because they believe more in purpose than profit. And so not only will they not buy your products and services if they don't believe in what you stand for, they don't want to work for you either. So how on earth can you remain relevant? And they demand that you have a purpose and purpose is not a philanthropic cause. It's what do you stand for?